Hello, Ms. Shafar. Welcome to Rubens. How may I help you? I want to meet Mr. Ashok. Okay. Let me check with Ashok. Okay. Ashok is in the office. I have informed him that Ms. Shafar is waiting. He will be here in a moment. Okay, let's be seated. Okay, thank you. This is a, a quick demo of what we are building and the status quo till now of where it is. This is called as AI receptionist and it's built by Vishaka uh, as an intern with Rubens. And uh, receptionist, which basically understands, like basically recognizes the people through facial ID, uh, face ID, and then it has a database of all the records of who they are, when they have visited, and it also has a connection to the intercom within the office. It can call, it can also do a Google chat, send an internal message to the people. And uh, basically it replaces a human receptionist and in a more effective way. And it can also remember everything and which can be used for further analysis. How it works, I think we shall be able to explain. So yeah, uh, this project is majorly divided into three models. So the three major models of this project are face recognition, uh, NNP, that is natural language processing, and the 3D avatar who is talking to us right here. So natural language processing is the major integration here, which is able to understand our human language. So here is the code which we have developed here. So we are using uh, the libraries, major libraries are speech recognition and face recognition. And we are using the classifiers for understanding uh, the language of human. We are uh, cleaning the text using the Spectre library, and uh, which is uh, which is um, integrating the NLP part here. So whatever text, uh, whenever I am coming in front of the camera, it will recognize my face, and uh, it will uh, search in LinkedIn database about my uh, uh, profile. So LinkedIn is actually in uh, uh, progress right now. We are uh, working uh, to integrate this project with LinkedIn. So uh, this will come to know about my entire profile from the LinkedIn. And when it uh, gets to know about my face, it will uh, take my inputs as my voice. And this voice will be uh, sent back to the speech part, speech module. So this speech module will send the API to the uh, 3D avatar. And the avatar will respond with the help of natural language processing. So this is how the project is running. And it's giving an accuracy of about 91 to 92% right now. Okay, excellent, brilliant. So um, I think the idea of uh, NLP and AI and speech and phase D it actually combines many different technologies to, to make this demo, uh, demo to happen. Um, you, you said that you're working with LinkedIn, yes. right? So to integrate it with this demo. So do you think you can run it in a live or it's maybe you, have, you can actually store all these profiles from LinkedIn asynchronously or you know in the back of offline. So kind of like this 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 this, algorithm, this learning from LinkedIn profiles yes. beforehand, and then so that it already has all the information. Because if you're trying to connect to LinkedIn live, do you think it will no. cause delay? Yeah. Uh, when we are connecting it live, so we need uh, some web scrapping which needs to be done on LinkedIn. So it is done offline, so, right? Yeah. So it's basically learning behind. behind. So it captures the data from the LinkedIn. Yes. So I don't think web scrapping is a good because it requires uh, privacy. Yes. Uh, yes. But yes. API yes. integration, if it's possible, that'd be great. So it, it basically imports all the data in the behind and it learns uh, uh, things. Yes. So it has a database of things. So, which basically means even if someone is coming for the first time to the office, it can recognize, isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's amazing. That's like. It looks a little creepy actually. So you're coming first time and you say, hey, hello Vishaka. And, uh, and like, how do you know me? So, <laughs> so that's one of the, uh, the one of the side effects of your connected world. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I wish you this project will actually uh, end uh, uh, with the proper latency and, and usable in for the businesses. And it goes to the live very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.